I call up Stephen Browning. Thank you, Mr Chair. Um, speaking to the proposed amendments to the Health and Safety Reform Bill and particular um, elements in the supplementary order paper 108, and I just want to run us through a line in there that I hope if this or when this uh, bill is implemented that the government actually takes note of and acts on and I'll ask the minister whether they will actually get in and look at the issue of pesticides and worker safety around pesticides. I'll start at um, 218 in part 5. The Medical Officer of Health must, as soon as practicable after receiving the notification, advise the regulator with the following information. The name of the person who suffers or suffered from a notifiable disease or injury caused by the hazardous substance. Just think pesticides. And I'm referring to this because 2009 Massey University showed that there was a big increase in leukaemia among horticultural workers. And women in particular, I think, had a 3.4 times incidence than the general public due to their work exposure. But I see nothing, that's 2009, just after this government got in, I see nothing happening around that. And just sort of rolling on through, in 217 is the issue around the funding levy. And it did concern me when I heard the debate between worm farming and um, other agriculture as to what the motivation was around some agriculture, and I'll think in this instance, dairying and beef not being sort of included at the risk level that I would have thought was appropriate because there is a high, high use of pesticides and including herbicides such as glyphosate that the World Health Organization has just said is a probable carcinogen. When are we going to get those lines of inquiry to see what is happening and why we're getting such high incidence of cancers in our communities and then look at the workers? Order. The member must... I know what the Sorry? The I said just, you, did I? No, no, no. The member just sit, please. I'm on my feet. The member will sit, please. The, we're not talking about what other inquiries there may be in terms of um, hazardous substances and glyphosate or whatever. Just stick. You can mention it, but just stick to the content of the bill. Stephen Browning. Thank you, Mr Chair. Yes, yeah, so I'm looking at the funding levies and hoping that we'll see some changes to ensure that the appropriate level of levy is in there relative to the risk that is in that workplace. And the workplace, as I say, needs to be considering pesticides and herbicides that we're finding more and more about. In 218C, a person must not use the plant or substance at a workplace if the plant or substance or its design is not authorised in accordance with regulations. We need to be ensuring, and the Minister um, will have a major role ensuring that the regulations are appropriate to that risk. And that includes, obviously, safety gear and the rest. Through under the regulations in 221, again, 2221-1E, Little one, I, regulating the storage, tracking and handling of plant substances or, sub, um, substances or structures. So the handling of those substances, the tracking of them. The reason I bring that up is because I'm thinking that through this bill, it might be that the government does track the level of use and the volumes of use of some of these substances that will be a risk to the workers uh, and the communities near the um, operation. And popping over into three, the uh, small three, regulating the examination and testing, analysis and so on. Testing in this country seems to be lacking as well. And uh, I'm hoping that again, 
that we will actually see some improvements through this uh, bill when it's through. Under 222, the regulations relating to hazardous substances in particular, and I go straight down to 1AV. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Che uh, Speaker, Chair, Chair course, thank Stephen you. Browning. The, for substances with toxic properties. And then in G, uh, G, prescribing systems for tracking hazardous substances, including requirements that, and I'll go straight to the two there, the quantity of substances be, record, be recorded. We have no record of the amount of pesticides being used in our workplaces, in our fields, in our farms, in our forests. And yet we have a large amount of disease and illness that more and more is being connected with that. So my point is that when this bill no doubt goes through, albeit our position to it in so many aspects of it, there's a great opportunity for the Minister to be ensuring that it is used in its fullness to protect our workers and communities from the pesticides in there. As I say, the science is there, we know the risk is there, and a lot, unfortunately, of what we'll be calling PCBUs are allowing staff to be operating, uh, putting out chemicals that they wouldn't do themselves. It suits them not to do it themselves. And of course, we need to be educating those staff and workers and making sure the regulations are here to support that, to make sure that the right gear is being used. But ultimately, we need to be doing that tracking that this part five allows for, the measuring of volumes that are being used and really respecting our workers, people in agriculture and horticulture and forestry and ensuring that actually they're not being exposed to these chemicals that we know are affecting them. So I want to see through this that those are being measured, that the injury, the illness is being reported by the medical officers as this can allow for and us starting to analyse what is going on in those workplaces. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair.